Could curfews be coming to migrant shelters in the city? The mayor's office says it's something they're considering. Fox 5's Jessica Formoso live outside of the Rowe Hotel in Midtown where some migrants are staying. Jess. Steve, Natasha, almost 70,000 migrants are in the city's care at this moment. And like you said, some are staying here at the Rowe Hotel, others at Herc sites across the city like Floyd Bennett Field. But now the city is considering a curfew, a curfew that is already in place for traditional homeless services shelters across the city. Now, this idea of implementing a curfew at migrant shelters was brought up at a closed door meeting today with city officials who were discussing the migrant crisis. It was Queens Councilwoman Joanne Ariola who asked why the migrants aren't subject to a curfew. All DHS shelters have a curfew of 9 p.m. for families with children and 10 p.m. for adults. She tells Fox 5 the reason she wants to see the curfew instituted is because a few weeks ago, she says migrants from Floyd Bennett Field were coming into her district and begging residents for money and food at all hours of the night. She says this is about safety. In the meeting, she was told they will look into it. Now, we did reach out to the mayor's office and we were told that they are considering all options. My constituents are terrified. They, they have people that they don't know at their doorbell. They usually have a child with them. They have their telephone, their iPhone, and on it, it says in English, I'm a migrant from Floyd Bennett Field. Please give me money. And they are, it's very, very concerning because at times they find them on their property. It's not an inconvenience for us because as you can see, we're coming back to the hotel now and it's before 9 p.m. However, I could see it being an inconvenience for those who work overnight. If they're coming back from work at three, four in the morning, how would that work? Would they be allowed back in? Now, Mr. Garcia's wife there told us that this could also be a way from stopping migrants from being out all night doing nothing. She says as long as that they can prove that they're working and are able to come back to the shelter, she does not see a problem. Now, Councilwoman Ariola says that already there are reasonable accommodations for those who are in the traditional homeless shelters across the city, uh, that if they work at night, they're able to come back without an issue. So she says they do not foresee any issues if they implemented um, here at the migrant shelter shelters. That's the latest we have from Midtown tonight. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. More than 140 migrants are at the Chicago landing zone, remaining on buses as this snowstorm continues to pummel the area. The Office of Emergency Management and Communication says of that number, about two dozen are minors. There are also migrants sleeping at both O'Hare and Midway Airport tonight. In response to the below freezing temps that are moving in at this hour, the city has decided to delay shelter evictions until January 22nd. The city had planned to evict dozens of migrants who had reached the 60-day limit starting Tuesday. But Mayor Brandon Johnson says that won't happen during this extreme cold weather spell. Uh, we are working to increase our capacity uh, for resettlement and to ex expedite the process of moving migrants from landing zones into temporary shelters. Uh, once they're in shelters, um, there's the 60-day stay, the 60-day stay policy, um, of course, is, is a policy that we put in place, but um, there are some um, exceptions to that policy, particularly during single digit temperatures, um, as we are expecting within the next uh, week or so. So to be clear, we're not evicting new arrivals um, out, out in the cold this winter. Well, let's talk about the city's fina financial obligation during all of this. The mayor says the city spent $138 million on the migrant crisis. The budget, though, this year is $150 million. Johnson says his goal is to only use what the city can afford.